first of all thank you very much for the response that you guys gave to my last video 26 likes and 15 comments man that's too much now you may say that no 26 likes is not that much but according to my previous videos this is too much man and another very 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 big thank you from the bottom of my heart to giving me this 3000 subscribers now we are almost in 3100 now and that's awesome thank you very much now here i am to announce a video or the written gift for you guys the love that you guys are giving to this channel is too much so here i come up with the written gift now what is that written gift now you may already know that because of the thumbnail and the title but let's talk about it in these videos we are going to create a full stack blog application full stack blog application that's not a joke okay we are going to do that here in this channel now for this project we will use node.js for our backend api we will use a react and tailwind css for our admin panel for the front end and then we will use a react native to create actual front end that's awesome now let me tell you why blog application first now in this channel the very popular video and the very popular playlist is this news or the blog application that i made almost two years ago now this project i made at the time i was learning these things and i just wanted to build something so i built it and uploaded it in this channel and inside this application there are lots of things which we can fix and at that time i was in the learning phase and i didn't have a thought to release this application or making this application live but the most request that i get when i uploaded it inside this channel was how to make it in the server like how to make this application live how we can host the server and things like that so I didn't know how to do that at that time so now I know that so this application we will host it on the web we will do lots of crazy things while building this application this is not a simple application if you know how we can create this application or if you build this entire application with me now you can consider yourself as a full stack web developer or mobile developer that whatever you want to call yourself okay i will show you guys the direct project okay let's see this project itself now this will be our blog application what you are seeing right now is a front end made with react native the first thing that you can see inside this application is here we have this very beautiful slider and this slider is not just a fake slider it's an infinite carousel which you can also slide or it will automatically slides for you and below this slider you will see these latest posts and we'll feature more and more posts if we scroll towards the bottom also we can search the post we can navigate to these single posts and if you come down here you will find this we are rendering these similar posts and these posts are not fake posts we will use these tags to find out these similar posts from inside our mongodb database and the one very cool thing about this application is if you notice here we have these two links right and links can be of your own website or links can link to different websites as well right so we will handle that thing as well if that link is linking to the outside then we will open that inside browser but if that link belongs to our own application then we will open that inside our own application so cool right another main cool feature of this application is now this application is internet based right if there is no internet then we don't want to display anything so here we will handle that thing as well if there is no internet we will display something like this now this is our front-end application now here we are talking about the full stack app so we need to have a back-end api and the admin panel as well right 
So this will be our admin panel from where we can create our post. And inside that application, you saw those featured posts inside that slider and we can create them with the help of this featured option. Here also, you can view the progress or the view this post like how it will look inside the mobile device before we save this post. Inside our form, we will add this feature like if we select the thumbnail, we will see the progress right in front of us without uploading these images inside our cloud or database. Also, we will handle these meta description and tags and things like that to search similar posts and this meta description will help if you want to publish this application as your web application as well. So this application will be scalable. Now to create these posts, we are going to use Markdown. Now if you guys don't know what Markdown is, then Markdown is a very popular among programmers is a language for markup. Markdowns are everywhere. Now if you go to the documentations, most of the documentations are written in Markdown. The readme file which you upload inside the GitHub, that is Markdown. Now if you go to the npmjs and see those documentations, all of those things are Markdown. And this Markdown thing is very simple to write. Now if you guys don't know how to write Markdown, then I will give you a link from where you can learn about these things. It's a 20 minute task. You can learn all of the Markdowns in 10 to 20 minutes. Like I already told you, markdowns are everywhere. If you go to the very popular website called tape.2, there you need to write your post using markdown. Now while creating this post, if you accidentally refresh or close this tab, then we'll store those posts or those changes inside local stories. So no data loss. Inside this admin panel, we will render these nine posts and if there is more posts, then we will give these paginations to render more posts. Here we can edit our post. We can delete the post. We can search these posts. And one more cool thing about this admin panel is here we will see how we can create this awesome slidable nav using React and Tailwind CSS. So all of this admin panel is made with React and Tailwind CSS and here we have lots of things to learn about. Now the main feature about this markdown editor is here we can place our images as well. So for that here we have the separate button from where we can upload a single image and use the URL link to render that image inside our blog post. Now last but not the least, here we will use this beautiful component to render these error and other notifications. Okay, I hope you will like this project. Now to create this project, we are going to use Node.js, MongoDB, Cloudinary, Express, React, Tailwind CSS, React Native, Markdown, bunch of other things, okay. And rendering Markdown inside our React Native application, it's not an easy task. And handling those navigations, those links, my god, those are not easy tasks. But I will make it easy in this channel, okay? Creating that slider, that was not an easy task. We will handle that as well. We will do lots of crazy things. But the one thing that I will not do is, I will not give you guys the source code. Because I made this much of effort to create this project and build these videos. I want you guys to take advantage from these videos. I don't want to I don't want you guys to go and copy copy my source code and update your portfolio. I don't want that. I want you guys to learn from this channel. So I will not give you guys source code this much easily. Now I found out that there are lots of guys in my previous projects. What they are doing, they are copying these codes from this channel and updating their portfolio. And this thing will not help you at all. Okay. You need to do these things on your own. Now, if you guys feel stuck in any places, in any point of time, you can comment on those videos. You can ask me questions. You can DM me, do whatever you want. I will help you. 
okay but i'll not give you guys the source code but if you want the source code then you need to pay some amount because what i'm saying is i want you guys to take benefit from me or from inside this channel if you can't then i will take benefit of you so be ready and i hope you will like this video series i did lots of hard work to create this project and create these videos and i just want you guys from that one like and subscribe to this channel if you haven't already now i'll see you guys with the project